guys. It's Chris Wara from Supercon. With Zach or Lucas. Wow. Uh, sorry. I, me. And my friend Theon. We're gonna be here all day until about six o'clock, I think. But we're gonna do some really fun stuff. I'm gonna try to find some uh, people to interview and have fun. All right. So take one. What do you think? It's large. Incredible. It looks really cool now. Like, look at all this stuff here. It's got, like, you got like the comic people, you got the vendors. Ooh, that looks really pretty, right right there. Yeah, so sorry guys for not posting it as much this at all this week, but this will be posted up later this weekend, hopefully. That is a badass Saiyan picture with Godzilla. That was awesome. Yeah, like this is like super in, like awesome to be here again. Oh my, I freaking, this is, this is my shit. This is actually, this is my shit right here. I love looking at this kind of stuff. Leather work is like awesome. Okay, we're gonna like look around and just see the spots and then come back to them. This is really cool. I always like getting like, <gasps> they have the Shadow Mickey right there. Or not the Shadow Mickey, but like the Organization 13 Mickey. Hey, what are you up to? I'm trying to find out when this person is... Uh... Oh my god, it's Tom Holland. Right there. Tom Holland. Tom Holland. Can... Yeah, light lightsaber construction. Makeup artist. Nice. Now this, this is true art. Look at that. No, they have Black Panther fading away. Still pretty cool though. What do you got there, Luke? His business card. Okay. <laughs> oh, these are super pretty. Oh, wow. These look like, like snow globes. They don't have the liquid in them. <gasps> what is that? That's adorable. I want it so bad. This is my favorite blade. This right here is my favorite looking blade. I love this thing. Pokemon cards! You are, you are really excited about the simplest things, aren't you? Yes. There's some Bleach characters. That's cool. Hey, I see with my little eye a giant job of the pet. Or no, a fucking the hut. I like to go through everything, so I make sure I cover everything. Is that right? And yeah, and then when is you that right? Back, you remember where you were to get your stuff. Oh, this is really pretty, actually. Yeah. I thought that was a good one, but it's not. More pops. Oh my God, it's a purple R2D2. You know. Never seen a purple R2D2 before. Oh hey, I thought he was out of carbon. I thought he was dead and also out of carbonite. Yeah. Now he's dead. Or he's always been dead, even when the first movie came uh, out. Cardboard. But they look nice. They look nice, yeah. Like I this feel is like all the cool. The detail is like the, the most important thing. Also. Yeah, a little bit. How are we doing today, guys? Good, you? We're doing fantastic. Everything you see here, I made myself. These are really cool. These, what are these? They're twelve bucks. They're cool little light box with the cool thing with them. They have interchangeable faces, so you can take it, switch it, and make a whole different box out of it whenever you want. That is really cool. And they're only 12 bucks, and it's only $4 more for the extra face. Switch them out. All right. Now I'll come back later. Thank you. Thank you, my card for me. Let's go my food. All right, what, is he, what are you about to do, Theon? I'm going to use this knife. Yeah. Uh, you got an 8 and a, eight and a 3. When I used to sell them, I used to sell it where I let them roll the dice. And if they got a natural 20, I'd take a dollar off the price. But if you rolled a natural fail, it was a dollar. Wow. <laughs> I like it. Guys, so I'm here with Arkham Knight. So can you tell me a little bit about your um, outfit today? A little bit of my outfit. It's inspired of two characters, right? The Red Hood and Arkham Knight. 
I got lucky when I found this design online. Um, got the characters for the, the the Dark Knight, which is the Arkham series. So it's got this design, but I like the red hood as well. So the, hence the red. Right. So um, how did you like make the helmet and everything? Well, the he helmet I actually got lucky. I found it online and it was uh, unique. It was just one of a kind, and I just clicked and I bought it. But I will be upgrading. I just bought LED lights so I can put it on the glasses. That would be sick. As, yeah, as well as a fan down here. Uh, okay, yeah, that, so that way you're not like overheating all the time. Uh, exactly. <laughs> so um, are you excited about like everyone like showing up, like Luke Cage, like coming up on Saturday and Sunday? I'm currently walking, watching Luke Cage right now. Do so am I. <laughs> it's amazing. It's an amazing show and uh, you get to meet so many unique people. It's yeah, cool. I'm trying to see if I can meet um, Vic from uh, Full Metal Alchemist today. That's, I at least try to get one person every year. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Vic, whoever, you know, um, it, it's all about just kind of collaboration to have fun. Well, anyways, thank you very much. Anyways, but that was awesome. I got to meet an um, uh, Arkham Knight, like, custom-made helmet person. What do you What do you think about it? You need to work on script. I know I do. That's why this is B-roll. <laughs> You, you, now this is something I, I can like get behind, like because look at all this like cool designs and everything, like Wonder Woman, Venom, Star Stark Industries. This is incredible. Are right, you ready for it? This is you. Man. No, 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 no. This, this is, is your YouTube channel. Come on, channel. come on, come on. All right, Dan. You gotta be put on blast. Dan, you, you, you ask a riddle. All right. You ask a riddle. Oh my heart is beating. At the beginning, though it's not beta nor gamma. At the end, it sounds like mom. It is Bobby's little boy. What is it? At the beginning of the sign of the beta At the beginning of the sign beta At the end, it sounds like mom. It is Bobby's little boy. These are all sewn items right over here. That's Ryo with the Shinigami apples, took over with the flowery design. Here's Ryo again with different types of patterns. BB-8 and the both No Face are applique with the Beauty and the Beast one. And this one's actually a Japanese fabric. Hey, wow, like where'd you get the fabric from? We actually got it at a sewing convention in Orlando. Oh. And this lady was selling them until we picked this up. And on here is Kanoshi, which is the Japanese name for No Face. Oh, okay. it's what I make. I make all these pins. Oh, these are really pretty. Thank you. And I actually do custom pins, like people in cosplays. So for $10, if you're wearing a cosplay that you like, yeah. I can actually turn it into a pin and have it shipped out to you. You got all these embroidered purses and everything right here. Okay. Well, thank Very you good for carrying around at like a convention or just walking around Disney or any of the other theme parks. And here are our wallets. They have RFID paper inside of them. I work at Disney, people are walking around and I got my credit card stolen because they were able to walk by with whatever phone that they had and scan my uh, debit card. That's the RFID inside of it. Wow, that's cool. All right, so how do you, how's your experience? A lot of cool shit. Yeah, this kid is six foot. Up. I had to like six angle five. it up, six five. And then Fian, we're still all still together, which is good. We're going like a grid system, so we're going like up and down the aisles, which is nice. Because you get to see all this cool shit. And I smell delicious food, like chimichangas. Beta or gamma? Oh, we know. Yeah, we know. Okay. We're not telling you though. Okay, you don't have to tell me. Uh, okay. So, so I'm thinking beta and gamma aren't just Greek letters of the alphabet. They're also types of, uh, new, uh, they're like higher energy particles. So, Bobby's little boy. Little boy is also the name of a nuclear bomb. So I'm getting there. Yeah. I'm thinking about it. Yeah. Okay, give me a You're close. Little... You're really close. We know that he asked you. He told me the answer. So I'm like, I'm, I want to see if you figure this out. That's really pretty. Wow. Cool. It's like an Atari system. It is an Atari system. Now this is what I need. I need one thing like this because that one, that one right there. If I can just. Stupid light. This is a nice gaming chair. I think we're getting closer to the, uh, the people. Another sim. And two more sims. Oh, hey, look at the people. Where would be Vic? I don't 
down to a Vic, do you? Hello. Ultimate Instant Goku, Shenlong. And all the other really cool stuff that nerds like us like. Oh hey, look! It's taxidermy. Dude, it's a stuffed penguin. And a... Penguin. Yeah. Walking around here, it makes me tired. It's just like... We walk so slowly, but we're super tired. See, there you go. These are the real deal. You were holding the phone ones earlier. Yeah, of course. Oh, uh, hold on. Hold on a second. I like this. This one's pretty cool. How do you fucking do that without cutting yourself? I just skilled. <laughs> so I'm here with NASA Bluff from Under Under Jail. So how you doing, it, buddy? Fucking like for like NASA Bluff that I've seen today. Hi, right. NASA Bluff, everybody. How are you doing so far, at the end? This is great. Good yeah. Time. I, I, used to, I, I used to have, like, when I was younger, so much energy during these things, but, like, it gets, like, so exhausting, like, looking at every little bit of pageantry to, like, the cute little stuff on the walls here. Oh, my, like, oh, these are the guys. Like, they have, like, these cute little, like, Lego boxes and everything. It's like every time I come back to where I find something new. Yeah. It's like, I don't know how to explain it either. It's just... It's beautiful and distracting and amazingly pretty. All right, so we've been going for a while, trying to find some more people to like do like more like cosplay interviews, but we haven't really found anyone yet. What about you? He he, he has no opinion. Um, Taylor. Taylor. And she is dressed as Mika-san from Attack on Titan. So, what exactly inspired you to become Mika-san for a Supercon? Well, it was just like one of my main animes that I used to watch. So, like, oh, she's strong, powerful. I wanted to be someone like that. So, like, why not? Have you seen the, uh, the new season yet? Yes, I'm waiting for the third season. Yeah, the third season. Like, the fact that Eren can become a Titan, or control Titans without becoming one, that's the probably most interesting that I've ever seen. Because like, it just means, it makes more sense why the, those people wanted to tape him away, so they can get into that power. It, it's just crazy, yeah, like, I don't know how to Yeah, like, I, like, I'm ecstatic to see like the new season, because I, I hear it's going to be like an hour long, and then like there's going to be like 23 episodes after. So, each one's going to be an hour? No, 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 just the first episode. Okay, okay. So where did you like um, like find the scarf? The scarf I got everything off Amazon, but obviously Aaron gave it to me. So yeah, that is true. So do you know where he is now? Sadly, he's not here today. All right, well we'll find him next time. Taylor, everybody, or Mika-san. All right, we have another person here. Her name is Autumn. Autumn Payne. Hello. So what is your um, cosplay? I'm dressed up as Nosebi from Love Live and the Candy Maid set. It's cool. So um, I've never heard of I, I don't he heard of this uh, anime, but like I try to like at least get some knowledge. So like, what is it about? Uh, school idols. There's this. Ooh, I don't know how to explain this properly. The school is basically going to get shut down, and one way for them to raise money and keep the school going is to form a school idol group. That's cool. So I heard like uh, my friend Lucas is in the back. He's just saying hi. And um, he told me that you make a lot of your like stuff, like foam, like um, objects and everything. So how'd you um, come up with this? Oh, okay. I this one for a group cosplay. Um, but most of the costumes I'm doing for the rest of the weekend, I made by hand. It's stressful. Oh yeah, like I did like um like my my kind of cosplay is like kind of like cheap. So like I have like this, like this is like sort of like a Kingdom Hearts character that I wanted, but I didn't have the keep like that the backpack. <laughs> But yeah, so like, yeah, it's, it's very stressful to like come up with your own stuff and just trying to make things work. Yeah, um, I cut my fingers three or four times with an exacto blade and then, what do you call it, sanded part of my skin off. Um, yeah, it's, it's been real. Yeah, <laughs> anyway, so thank you, Autumn. That's very 